Now to a new six investigation into Aramis Ayala's legal expenses. The state attorney is suing Governor Rick Scott, but you are paying the bill. Ayala says the governor overstepped his authority by removing death penalty cases from her office. Investigator Mike DeForest joins us now. Mike Ayala's legal expenses reaching into the six figures now. That's right. Her legal expenses are growing and taxpayers like you and I will be covering them. Now, I've discovered that some of that money is being spent on a high-powered public relations firm. Roy Austin on behalf of State Attorney Aramis Ayala. Lawyer Roy Austin represents State Attorney Aramis Ayala in her ongoing lawsuit against Governor Rick Scott. Invoices obtained by News 6 show that between March 21st and March 31st, Austin's Washington, D.C. law firm and another attorney's office in Tampa billed Ayala more than $102,000. Keep in mind, that's for less than two weeks of work. We have not yet seen Ayala's legal bills for April and May. And I've asked her to recuse herself. Although the governor has also used outside attorneys in the past, for this case he's being defended by his own in-house counsel. Ayala's lawyer tells News 6, State Attorney Ayala and her staff have more than enough work to do keeping the people of Orange and Osceola County safe while my team defends her authority. That lawyer has recruited the help of Kivit, seen here on the company's Twitter page, a public relations firm with offices in New York and Washington. Records obtained by News 6 show Ayala is paying Kivit thousands of dollars for litigation support. So far, no one has explained what the PR firm is doing for Ayala, but emails obtained by News 6 reveal some clues. Kivit Managing Director Tracy Schmaler worked for the Department of Justice during President Obama's administration. Back in March, as hundreds of Ayala's supporters were boarding buses to travel to a rally in Tallahassee, Schmaler received an email suggesting she should craft a short message or statement from Aramis Ayala to read to folks on the bus. Now, since the state attorney's office is fundus, funded almost entirely by taxpayers, you and I will likely be paying for those lawyers and that PR firm. Now, it is possible that private organizations or people could chip in some cash, but so far, Ayala's team has refused to say whether or not they are receiving any outside money. Matt and Lisa. Hopefully they'll answer those questions soon. Mike DeForest, interesting. Thank you.